visit fourthdimensionsobriety.com. On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially asking that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Under these conditions, we can employ our mental faculties with assurance, for after all, God gave us brains to use. Our thought life will be placed on a much higher plane when our thinking is cleared of wrong motives. In thinking about our day, we may face indecision. We may not be able to determine which course to take. Here we ask God for inspiration, an intuitive thought or decision. We relax and take it easy. We don't struggle. We're often surprised how the right answers come after we tried this for a while. What used to be a hunch or an occasional inspiration gradually becomes a working part of the mind. Being still an experience and having just made conscious contact with God, it's not probable we're going to be inspired at all times. We may pay for this presumption in all sorts of absurd actions and ideas. Nevertheless, we find that our thinking will, as time passes, be more and more on the plane of inspiration. We come to rely upon it. We must never be blinded to the futile philosophy that we're just hapless victims of our inheritance, of our life experience, and of our surroundings, that these are the sole forces that make our decisions for us. This is not the road to freedom. We had to believe that we can really choose.
Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it's in giving that we receive, it's in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it's in dying that we are born to eternal life. <laughs>